In this training session, I will be covering backing up programs, offsets, and macros using the FANUC 30i series of controls. I will also be covering the all data backup function. I suggest that you also watch my other videos covering how to backup CNC parameters and PMC data. Links to this and other sessions will be provided at the end of this video. For those of you in the training class, please follow along on your simulators. On older model controls, all of the CNC part programs were stored in one big directory that was simply called directory. In order to back up all of the programs, you went to edit mode and called up the program directory. Using the continue button, navigate to the punch soft key. Type in 0-9999 and press the punch key. Then press execute. This gives you a complete backup of all the programs. Well, maybe. Parameter 3202 bit 4 must equal 0 or you will not get the 9000 macro programs. On new style controls, FANUC has introduced something new. This is called folders. In edit mode, press the program hard key, then the folder soft key. This style of organizing programs is similar to Windows. You can create folders and store programs in them. By pressing the OPRT or Operation Soft Key and Tree List, you will be able to see all of the folders. You can make a backup of files in each individual folder, but this will not create a backup of all files in all folders. In order to make a complete backup of all programs, you must navigate to a different screen. Press the System Hard Key and then the Continue button until all I.O. is displayed. Press this key and select the Program Soft Key. Press the Operation key so that you can do an operation on this screen. You'll notice the plus sign here indicating that there are more screens available to you. Press the Continue button so that you can see the All Output. Press this key. You now have an option to set a unique name by using the F Name key. If you don't select this key, the CNC will give the file a standard name of All Folder. Press the Execute key to make a complete backup of all programs. Simple enough, right? Now let's make a backup of the tool offsets. Press the Offset Settings hard key. If you don't see it, use the Continue button to navigate to the Offset soft key. Press the Offset key and then the Operation key. Here you will find the F Output soft key. Pressing this will save a copy of all tool offsets. The work offsets are saved with the CNC parameters. Now that those are done, let's back up the macro settings. Press the Offset Settings hard key again. Use the Continue button to navigate to the Macro Soft key. Press the Macro Soft key and then the Operation key. Use the Continue button to get to F Output. Press this key to back up the macro variables. There are a number of additional files that can be backed up. These are the critical ones necessary to recover the machine. Now what we've done so far is to make individual file backups. There's a new method of backing up a fan of control that you're really going to like. It's called the All Data Backup. It makes a complete backup of all the files that can be backed up just by pressing one button. This function is available on the later model 30i series controls. Here's a list of parameters that will need to be set in order for this to work. Parameter 313 is the one that turns this function on. Just like before, set up your I.O. device first. This can be done on the settings page or by setting parameter 20. By setting this to a 4, I have my control set up for a memory card. Make sure to place your machines in edit mode. Remember that All I.O. screen that we used to back up the programs? Let's navigate back there. It's under the System key. Navigate to the All I.O. button and press it. This time we're going to hit the Continue button until we see All Data. Press this button and then the Operation key. Here you will have a choice between formatting the card 
are outputting the data. My card is already formatted, so I don't need to worry about that right now. Press the F output button and you'll get this screen. Pay close attention to the warning message. You will need to cycle power to the control for this to work. The reason for this is that the control will back up all of the machine tool builder information that is stored in the FROM. This will include an SRAM backup along with the ladder files. When I hit the execute key, you will see the bar graph counting up as the files are backed up. Once completed, you will get this message showing that you will need to cycle power to the control. Go ahead and power off and back on. This is a sample list of the files that the machine backed up. As you can see, there are a large number of them. This is by far and away the best method in which to back up a machine. Unfortunately, it's not available on the older controls. It sure does make things simpler. I hope that you found this information useful. This is only one example of how to back up a machine. There are too many configurations to cover everything. In my next training session, we'll look at the boot screen backup and setting up a recovery point for your machine.